It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I'm just getting my voice back and my sinuses are still messed up, so I'm probably going to sound a little weird, but I saw that Pat got dropped a Sniper Wolf diss track, and I feel like this was necessary. Somebody's got to continue to call out this bullshit because she only got temporarily demonetized, which is the lightest punishment that you can give for somebody doxing someone else. I'm not going to go into too long a dialogue because I talked about this in two videos on my main channel, Dwayne TV, which is linked down below if you guys want to check those out. But it's just it's just a bunch of crazy shit that's happening. And it, it's hard to point to anything other than favoritism, which sucks because I like this platform. I love YouTube. It's it's given me a place to post videos, post my music, talk about stuff like I enjoy this platform. But when you see stuff like this happen, it's, it's really upsetting. Either way, I wanted to dive into this and see what this man was talking about. Uh, 50 leads you using everybody's work to get your fame. You will rubbish why you always lie and fake and play games. Made it live in corrupted millions of children in their brains. Trying to see your husband, but we know that you gon' lose that case. So said, I look in with cancer, man, y'all watch her be a shame. All she wanted Ooh. was a cup, but you cannot reciprocate. Okay, I forgot about that situation. So. There's a little girl with cancer that said that Sniper Wolf was like her favorite YouTuber and Sniper Wolf, I believe, reached out to the family and said that she'd do a phone call with the girl because she only had so much time left to live. And then she just kept blowing them off. I don't know if she like I don't, I don't want to say one way or the other if she ended up reaching out and talking with the little girl because I don't know if it happened, if it didn't. But I just know that there was a period of time where there was some question around it and why she couldn't just make a phone call. So the text messages that we're looking at on the screen says, hi, Kiera is up. I don't know if you are around. And Sniper Wolf replies with, hey, sorry, won't be home for another two hours. Might be too late. We can keep trying, but my day's usually very busy. You're talking about like a five to 10 minute phone call with a girl who's dying from cancer. I, I don't understand how this is such a hard thing to fit into your day. I mean, if that, you should have just never said any. I mean, like, I'm, see, I'm going to start going off and, and bitching and shit like that. But let's just, let's just read what the rest of it says. So they responded with, you know, my daughter looks up to you. She loves you. Watched you her whole cancer treatment the past year. It would have been nice for you to just say hi. It's okay. She's dying and literally has days to live. I just tried to make my daughter's last wishes happen. You shouldn't have even reached out because then I could have just told Kiara we tried. I told her that you messaged, I told her you wanted to say hi, and instead you blew off a dying 10-year-old girl for days. It's all good. I mean, that, that's exactly where I'm trying to come from right now. Like, why, why, even, why even respond and say, oh my God, like, I'll do a phone call with her, I'll say hi to her, because now they're going to tell this little girl that. She's going to get excited and think, wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to my favorite YouTuber. Like, this is, this is amazing. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, it's like, day by day, ah, she's too busy. Ah, uh, we can't get a hold of her. Ah, uh, she responded and said that she's not going to be home till late. It's like, you really can't have a five-minute conversation and say hi to somebody who's 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 not going to be here much longer and, and is a huge fan of yours. Like, I, 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 it just blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. He's like, oh, I won't be home for two hours. You know, it might be too late. What do you mean it might be too late? Like, so, so let's just say that they got to wake the girl up like an hour after she goes to bed or something like that. Is that really the biggest deal in the world? She's going to pass away. She wants to speak to you. I think that that means a lot to her. I don't think she'd be too upset. Regardless, why can't you find five minutes in the middle of your day? I mean, let's just say you sleep for eight hours a night. You have 16 hours in a day. Five. You can't tell me that you don't have five minutes. That's just I, that's the most unbelievable shit that I've ever heard in my life. Now I'm getting mad. I'm going to start. Let me just let's just listen to the song. But that shit bothers me. That shit, that shit's crazy to me. I'm hoping that she ended up talking to that little girl. I don't know, so I can't say that she never spoke to her because it's, it's information I don't have, but I do remember seeing stuff about it. Corrupting millions of children in their brain. Trying to see your husband, but we know that you gon' lose that case. So said, I look in with cancer, man, y'all watch her be a shame. All she wanted was a cup, but you cannot reciprocate. Shitty videos, man, everything you post is a disgrace. Look at what you she put her like that makeup on her face. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> Bitch, you marry Gibby. Put your channel in the dirt, and we gon' hit the gritty. Yo, I like this. Hold up. I get you my pretty. Bitch, you my pretty. Bitch, you marry Gibby. Put your channel in the dirt, and we gon' hit the gritty. You ain't getting pity. Your fam is full of kitties. But zero in front of your boy like Mordecai and Remy. Bitch, I just want one of your videos, and I'm so healing. Or is it for a robbery? You just can't help but steal it. Yeah, bitch, I'm digging up your past. Uh, maybe why your husband went and left your ass. Well, I'm two inside, but we know you ain't bothered. When it comes to making friends, you put 
As far as her husband, I actually, I didn't know that she's trying to sue her husband. I know at one point I saw pictures of them and I'm not even going to lie. I was like everyone else where I'm like, she does kind of seem, I mean, if, if physically she looks good. I'm not going to say that she doesn't gonna sit here and lie just because I don't like her as a person. You know, like, but she, and, and I'm like, yo, I feel like the husband, it, it don't match. Like, it don't seem like it fits, but it, I mean, I guess it didn't last. I, I Apparently he left her, which is smart. Cause you know what I'm saying? Listen, looks ain't everything, but on, on the surface level at the time, I didn't know anything about her. I was just like, damn, bro, this girl kind of bad. Like what, how, how this, this, okay. But shout out to him. This man bagged. He said <laughs> he did his thing, but yeah, as far as her content goes, I, it, it, it comes from a weird place because like, obviously I do, I do music reactions. We stop, we talk about things, whatever the case is. Some people don't feel like this is adding anything. Some people don't feel like these are worthwhile videos. And I, who am I to tell you that it, that it is, it isn't, you know what I'm saying? I've also done reactions to like, say police stops and stuff where I kind of stop and talk along the way of what I think should or shouldn't have happened, how people act. And it brings into, you know, it, it kind of brings me into larger discussions about different things in life, stories of my own, so on and so forth. So I feel like I'm adding something to it, but some people might disagree and think that I don't. As far as her content, the one video that I've ever watched of her, because I create some reaction content, I don't watch any of it, and she really just made faces and just laughed a couple of times along the way, and then that was it. It was So it was pretty much like I was just watching the video that she was watching, and she was barely even a part of it at all. So I, I, you know, I'd like to think that there's a difference between what I try to do in some of my content and what she does in her content. But, you know, who am I to say that people aren't going to feel the same way about me? So, I, you know, I ain't going to throw too much shade and sit here and act like I'm up on my my high horse or my high chip. You know what I'm saying? And but I do feel like she just she just be sitting there just. <laughs> and then the video is over and you're like, what? <laughs> What was that? That was crazy. That's some wild shit. See, again, I don't watch content, so I only know this because people have been bringing this stuff forward, but I, I saw that video, and she's got these little boys on, on Omegle, and she's like, yo, if you twerk for me, I'll show you titties. That's crazy. And I said before, listen, I used to be one of those people that's like, damn, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was a kid that age, I'd love to see some titties. It doesn't make it right, though. It doesn't, it doesn't make it right, and honestly, that shit should never happen. It's just a stupid comment that some people make and stuff like that, but... In all reality, when you think about it, you have to consider if it was flipped, right? Imagine if some guy was on there like, yo, I'll show you, you know, my 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 shit or something like that. If you girls start twerking for me, that's wild. Even even if it was just like, hey, I'll follow you on social media or all like, you know, you, he, he could have offered literally anything. Just the fact that he's trying to get underage people to twerk would be what's crazy. And the Internet would would eat this man alive. Right. So it shouldn't be any different when it's in reverse, in all honesty. I mean, I I, I can see some people's argument that it, they don't feel like it's as serious, but it is. It's, it's kids like you, you shouldn't be doing this at all to kids. And she obviously didn't show them titties at the end. She just said some weird shit and then just skipped to the next person. And it was just one big joke. And, and she got to put content out around it. But she deleted the content because she knew it was weird. And then there was another one that surfaced about her telling some other girl who people were claiming is 16 or it said in the chat that she was 16 that well, if you show me your titties, I'll show you mine. And, you know, I guess it was maybe debunked or whatever you want to call it, because they said that it was like a bot in the chat. And the person that was actually offering to show titties to see Sniper Wolf's titties or whatever was was an older person that maybe even was like a, a model or like a OnlyFans. I, I don't know. I don't know the situation. So I don't know if it, what, 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 what part of it was true. But regardless, let's just say that you knew. Why would you make a skit or something like that where the person says they're 16 and then you offer to show each other your titties? Like, it just looks bad. Whether you knew that it's not really a 16-year-old or not, it's kind of weird. I, I don't know. There's a lot of goofy shit to be happening on this 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 on this on platform sometimes. 30 TikToks and you send it to your editors. Telling kids to put their ass on can you as a predator. Making millions off of children like robust developers. Got a famous made of five-year-olds and obese Redditors, bitch. Come on.
Oh, fuck this shit. Is that bitch? Come on, yo. You got to respect it. Pat got be coming out and just throwing some shit down. Like, I like it. I, I respect it. I fuck with it. I probably shouldn't have said the F word because I'm probably going to get demonetized myself on this video. But listen, if somehow I can become friends with Sniper Wolf, apparently I can get around that kind of stuff. So, Leah, I'm going to be reaching out soon. Um, <laughs> I'm curious what you guys think about this. This was a, this was an interesting... I'm knocking stuff over. This was an interesting... Um, it's an interesting situation. Dope diss track. Interesting situation. I don't think she's going to get in any more trouble. I think the fact that she's... I don't know what you want to call it. Like, dodging around the... The, the, the monetization ban, which is temporary anyway, which means she's probably going to be back within a month. I, I just don't think that they're going to get her in trouble. If anything, you, who, who knows? For all we know, the conversation she had with her rep, because you know a channel that her size is going to have a rep that, that she could speak to that goes through YouTube and stuff, might have even said, listen, you got the other channel, you know what I mean? Like, I can't say that for sure. It's allegedly, I'm just, just th the random things that I've heard. But even if it's, it's it's not the case, I just don't think that they're going to get her in trouble because it doesn't seem like they wanted to do anything too drastic given the fact that she doxed another big YouTuber. They more so were just like, a little, little slap on the wrist. Everything's going to be fine. They even kind of blamed the other guy for it as well because he was posting videos about her, which I guess you could argue is potentially a harassment. I don't think so. He was within TOS. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it was a big deal, I feel like they would have did something about it. They never did. He never got in any trouble. So that means that he's doing everything within the rule set, whereas she is going way outside of that and potentially even breaking the law with the doxing thing. So I don't know. Bunch of madness. Again, we talk about it over on my main channel, Dwayne TV, if you guys want to join the conversation. But otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video, homies.